everyone welcome back to Wobble Box Adventures and today where are we going Riley? Come back. So it's currently about half past two quarter to three in the morning we're going to travel over to Bristol park the car go into the airport and check in. to Clermac. Yep we're off to Clermac so uh, stick with us and uh, follow us on our adventure. So guys, we're in the airport, Jet2 are amazing, they helped us get our cases through, scanned all our things for us, and it was really, really easy, but it's really busy in the airport, we've never been in August before, and it's 10 times busier than normal, so, right, let's get through uh, the departure gate, yeah? Let's go. <laughs> so guys, we've just come through the customs part, pretty straightforward, we fast tracked which was well worth the money it was uh, it got us through a lot quicker than normal the queues are massive but with fast track you just literally go straight through so yeah all good well worth paying the extra Riley you having breakfast what have we got croissant croissant and I had sausage burger. Bap. I had sausage burger. Bap. no you used to add burger daddy I had sausage bap and, and we're on the other. roof terrace I don't think you can see the planes and the sunrise so it's a new uh, roof terrace in uh, Bristol Airport and it's pretty cool. It's nice and cool out here as well because it's boiling inside. Where are we, mate? We're on the bus. And the bus is taking us out of the airplane, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Reversing out onto the runway. fields are from all the hot weather we've been having.
drone with Jet 2. We've met them at the kiosk and they've told us to come outside on bus number 12, which is just for there. Really nice and simple. Everybody, there's so many Jet 2 staff here. If you come with Jet 2, it, you've got no problems. You just ask one of them and they're all really helpful. And it is boiling. We've got a man down. He's been up since 3 a.m. Okay guys, so room tour, we have the bathroom, toilet, inflatable whale in the shower, and, uh, and a bath. And he's having a shower. He's having a shower, right back at you. So we have a, a double and a single bed. We've pushed them down because Riley sleeps up close against the cupboard and then he doesn't fall out because they are tiled floors. Um, we have Samsung TV, which you can stick uh, your Netflix in. Don't forget, guys, you need to have an adapter for your charger. And then we use a multi-charger with a load of USBs. You have a fridge, kettle. There is a hairdryer in there. And we've been spoiled because we have a terrace. It's the first time we've ever had one of these. We haven't had one before. So this is our terrace. And then that looks out over to the pools just over the other side. The entertainment's just by here. There's a bar just by there. And the water park is just up by there. And that bus by there is what you catch to go to the beach. And if you look out over there, that's all the lucky, lucky men selling all the goodies and bits and pieces. And if I look over that side, that's the spa that we walked to that on our other video. So if you haven't already, um, if you go back through our videos, you'll see that we came here in 2018, 2019, um, and I did a review. Um, we were coming back, but unfortunately with COVID hit, we couldn't come back. So this is the first time we've been able to come back since that kind of review and the one in October. And uh, the one in October, I had food poisoning. I'm not gonna lie, don't know if it was from the hotel, don't know if it was the meal that we had out, but the food today has been great. We've really enjoyed it. The only issue we had today was the transfer. Transfer took nearly two hours uh, with Jet2. It was like um, privatized out to somebody or whatever you call it, given out to somebody, chartered out, um, and it was no air conditioning, two hours just to get to the hotel. Um, so that wasn't a great start to the holiday. Uh, apart from that, we're all ready, we're all changed, we're going down for dinner tonight. Don't know how much I'm going to video of it, um, and I'm hoping I'm covering all the bits and pieces that I didn't cover in my last video that you all want to know. Um, if there is anything, then you're just going to have to stick it in the comments, and I should imagine we'll come back here again next year. <laughs> Alright, see you later guys. day or two um, when I first got here I had quite a bad stomach uh, I think it was the water we had quite a few slush puppies and bits pieces and stuff like that with their own water and uh, Kel came down with a bad stomach the following day went to the local pharmacist um, and they've given some herbal stuff and I've never had nothing like it before I do suffer with IBS and this stuff is just fantastic 
Um, so we're back on form, we're back out, we're back enjoying ourselves. Um, we haven't not gone anywhere, we've just spent time in the swimming pool. I will say it's 36 degrees, feeling like something like 41, 42 sometimes through the day, and it is boiling, so all we are doing is in the swimming pools. Um, you're literally living in the swimming pools, keeping nice and cool, and uh, <laughs> it's just too hot to walk about. It's boiling, absolutely boiling. We walked down to the strip yesterday, which I'll put some photos in. And by the time we got to the bottom, I'll put a photo of what Riley looked like. We were just drenched. Came back to the water park, had an amazing day. Just stayed hydrated and just stayed over in the pool. Um, so one thing we are doing now is only drinking kind of canned drinks or bottled water from the shop. Um, and we seem to be in loads better since we've been doing that. So, uh, but yeah, here's the view this morning. People are starting to get their sun loungers. Don't think everybody runs down for sun loungers. There's still plenty of places where you can get sun loungers in the morning. So um, it's currently about half past nine and see how quiet it is. It's lovely. So, right guys, we're off. And uh, let's get out and go and have some breakfast. Last day today, and we woke up the rain. Still quite warm, but we have the rain. Okay, guys, so quick catch up. There's Club Mac up the road. There's the spa. Turn left to go up to Liddles and to the beach, and turn right, and then the second left to go up to the strip. So, this is the straight road at the end of the road to Club Mac, straight up there is Lidl and it's just on the left hand side if you need Lidl okay guys so there's Aldi at the top of the road there's the big roundabout there's a kebab shop on the end by here and there's also a Burger King okay guys so, so, so you can get your bearings Lidl again by here on the left Burger King over there on the right if you walk down that way that's the port so it's about 10 minute walk down there that's the port if you walk down that road just over by there that's how you get to the beach so there's Burger King on this piece of ground opposite it's like a waste piece of ground there's either usually a fair or a circus or something going on every time we've been here anyway so with Burger King on your right I'm walking down this road so that's the fair walking down this road will get you to the strip. If you keep walking all the way down, you'll come to a dead end. If you turn right, that's the strip. If you turn left, that's the beach. So just down from Burger King, there's your first pharmacy, just on the corner of this building right here. So if you look for the long canal, which I'll try and show you now, there's a long canal going up through there's a pharmacy just on the corner 
So we're still walking down this long road with the pharmacy that I told you. It's a long ass road. <laughs> but there's all cafes, bars, restaurants, other hotels to have a look at. Um, cycling rental shops, spa, you name it. It's pretty much got it. So uh, yeah, it's not too much of a boring walk. I think the whole loop around is around about three to four kilometers. So this is the start of the main strip, the beach is just down by there and then this is one long strip up to the top of the base of the mountain, not sure if I'm going to be able to get up here to show you, there you go, and this is where you see the bridge with the fish underneath and the famous um, crep guy. So here's all the little shops, there's more lakes, saltwater lakes as you walk up through and then that's the bridge just up by there. And if you look off that either side you'll start to see big fish in the like canals there you can hire these electric scooters at the hotel if you don't want to walk and you want to have a scoot about but yeah plenty of little knick-knack shops so, so just off to the right hand side here's the little pubs that i was telling you about so mucky omaris nobby's rose's return all little bars and steakhouses so this is the little humpback bridge i was on about and if you get to the top of it, look down in, you'll see loads of fish. And we're going to go and have a drink in this little cafe by here. Not quite sure if you can see them. So these people just by here are also YouTubers. The Flamingo family that we've watched on their, watched on their channel them come into Club Mac. So guys, we've stopped off and had a nice cold drink at All Star, which is right by the bridge. Highly recommend it, quite cheap. What was it called? Seven euros for two Cokes and a fruit shoot. It's quite warm. It's cloudy overcast day today, but and it's not as warm as it has been. So uh, we've been able to come out and have a, a nose about again. So this is your famous crepe shop. Just up from, there's the bridge. There's the cafe that we sat down and had our drink. And then that is your famous crepe one. With the guy who does the crepes that's all over YouTube and the lovely ice creams and bits pieces. Sadly it's uh, froze this morning but uh, yeah, some lovely uh, ice creams in there. So you might remember if you've watched our other vlog, Uncle Lukey, he went on a horse like this so Riley wanted to go. Once you come to this pharmacy at the top end of the strip and the steakhouse, if you turn right, the pub on the very far end is the Jolly Roger, and that's the lake heading towards back towards the hotel. So this is the Jolly Roger pub. It's got a swimming pool and does good food. Look at you see all these planes up in the skies. Everyone's going back off home. It's very busy in the sky today. Uh, the people we've seen kayaking in at the one canal has now come out in one of the lakes. They must be boiling. So these two are racing. They're like kneel down kayaks. And the coaches just by here. Oh, look at 
pulling up their week called it. So that's the kayakers off back down. That's the lake, and that's the road, and that's the map today. So that's Jupiter, that's Marta, and then Saturno's further down. Sullivan's Bar, just opposite, and the Queens. So this is the Marta shop just by here, reception just up by there. That's the Saturno, outside entertainment. Bar just over by there and kids bar where the yellow is just through the trees and then that's the terrace in the evening where they have entertainment that's the entertainment part one and then there's part two over the other side so you check in as you walk down this path and go into this building by here and that's the reception in here so this is reception so reception is just through by here if you want to see a jet to advisors they're over in the far corner there's a restaurant just around the corner by there the kids pool just out by there it gets quite busy in here but it's one of the only rooms with air conditioning so and that's where you check in with all your staff so water fountains out there they shut them off once this week because it was so uh, hot the water got boiling so kids pool just in by there out there uh, one of the large outdoor pools just over by there the lake. I think the swans are 10 euros or free before 10. The train that goes around in the evenings, that's the fish that chew the skin off your feet. I don't know a better way of putting that pedicure thing, is it, or something. That's the outside arena where you have the other entertainment. And this is the burger bar just over by here where you can have burgers from about midday free. This was the pool that we were just looking at and if you do need the doctors or emergency medical there's one just up by there um, that take British insurance. These are the other boats that you can rent. I think these are electric and that can also take you around the lake. Uh, you will see snakes and the eels, different fish, ducks. Loads of little fish under there. This is where the entertainment is in the night. We're just walking by here. I'm going to be honest, this is Mosquito Alley. There is so many mosquitoes in here, it's unreal. But that's the stage with the entertainment. The bar. And then obviously the seating area. But yeah, this is where the mozzies get you in the night. Make sure you bring plenty of repellent. So we'll go back. So looking over Jupiter, Marta, Satino. So the next section is going to be the kids outdoor play pool which I'm not going to video much because I'm on my own at the moment without Riley. But yeah there's a dragon, um, an outside water park part of it. Um, again we have been told, oh there's some ducks. We have been told that a lot of people have been getting bit over here by the splash park because of the mozzies and because you've run the trees and the grass on the lake. But yeah, that's it over there. Okay, there you go. You can see the dragons and the water splash park bit, so it's good for the kids. Life guard on there as well. I'm walking around this lake and there's mozzies flying around me now, so it's going to be quick. Now we're down the lower part of the lake. That's the kids' bouncy castle part, which you've got to pay extra or if you've got the premium wristbands. These are the go-karts that you can hire. So the kids are driving the beach, just jeeps around. They drove them around this little lake at the bottom and there's mini golf down the bottom and a kids' play area at the bottom by there. Um, you've also then got the train, a massage area, 
kids area where they're playing football at the moment and then walk back around it's a nice little walk around the lake it's a lot cooler today it's been really really hot all week so we've been looking at 36 38 um this is august now so august the 18th is it the 18th uh, yeah um so yeah really warm really really warm this week to be honest it's been a bit unbearable we've literally spent most of our days in the water park it's uh i don't know if you if you haven't been to club mac before you're gonna love it and you'll really enjoy it if you've been to club mac before then i think you're gonna start to see some bit changes the food's not as good this year um it's not as good as as many options um we haven't been hearing the music like the club mac music has always been booming when we've been here and really gets you going and enjoying it it's been hardly any music playing all weekend all week um but yeah i don't know a few bits and pieces that have changed this time we haven't been out and about as much because it's just been so hot it's just been a ball of sweat every time you've gone for a good walk or whatever so we've kind of stayed literally around the water park i will praise the water park up it is really good we love the water park it's been brilliant it's been our bit of a life savior pools are nice and cool over there and it's just really really tidy so right that's my walk around club mac guys uh hope we've kind of covered everything it's been a bit of a rush at the end of it the holiday because i haven't been out walking much so i thought i'd come for a little walk this morning and have a show you around hope you've enjoyed it if there's anything that i can uh, answer any questions i'll try my best i'll try and get a little couple of photos of the dining area and bits and pieces uh, and i'll have a walk around to the other pools now just around the other side of the hotel so that's where the water fountains was this is the little path walking down the side we're going to walk over to the other bar and the other swimming pools so little kids pool just by there this is the jupiter and this is the largest restaurant it goes all the way down the bottom of the floor of the Jupiter. So you can see in there. So pool tables, air hockey, some seats. Downstairs parking if it's raining and you want to get out of the way. Arcades through there. And then another bar over here. So your drinks bar, kids section, adult section, little kiddies plunge pool the bigger pool and then one over the far side these pools we think are heated they're a lot warmer than the other pools and plenty of sun loungers and undercover it's currently four o'clock in the morning and we're having like a major storm Okay, so that's the end of our holiday here at Club Mac. Uh, it's currently about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're waiting for our bus to come and take us back to the airport. So I think this is the last time we're going to visit Club Mac at the moment. We've been here five times in total. We worked out last night and uh, yeah, we've had some good times here in bits and pieces, but things have started to change a little bit and I think now it's time to find a new destination. So overall review, um, August is boiling hot. If you come in here, you need to be prepared for the weather. Um, it was kind of 34s, 36s, feeling like 38s. Um, really hot and really sticky. Couldn't really go for any walks. It was just so hot. Oh, and now the lights have gone off, so you're not going to be able to see me. Everyone. Hello, everyone. We're on the plane going home now, aren't we? 
Have you had a good time? Yes. I got lots of toys though. Got lots of toys. And what, what did you lose while we were on holiday? Should I open your turf? We lost our turf. <laughs> it was loose anyway. So we're just on the plane now, just heading back, and then we'll have a catch up when we get back to the house. Okay guys, so we're back home and I said I was going to do a bit of a review at the end of it and this is it basically. So Jet2, highly recommend Jet2, they were fabulous, really really good, really looked after us, um, so many staff there, everything you needed if you had a question, they were there to help, um, they made Riley feel really good, uh, helped letting him do with the luggage and all the bits and pieces and um, yeah, felt really 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 good company highly recommend if we go away again i'll use jet too um now for the hotel so the hotel was good everything was okay the food wasn't brilliant everyone always slags the food off i can't slag it off i just don't think there's enough options now um there used to be loads of different options and food that we liked and now it's all going very uh, mushy kind of different foods that we hadn't seen before um so overall the food wasn't brilliant um, as I said, while we were there, the entertainment, uh, it's very karaoke. It's not brilliant. It's not the best. Don't go there thinking you're going to have massive, great entertainment all day, every day. Um, we didn't hear the Club Mac songs all that often either. They were, I think, once or twice it ha they came on and then it was really, really quiet after that. Um, cleanliness of the hotel, immaculate, really, really good. Um, heat did affect us. The 36 degrees most days up to 38 um, and it was boiling it was scorching you couldn't walk around and stuff me and Riley are both kind of ginger and um, yeah the heat really affected us quite badly over there we had to literally live in the water park which we didn't mind we loved it it was a real chilled out weekend and um, we found that when you went over to the water park you could pay four euros fifty for the day for um, a deck chair sun lounger so we were just doing that we were basically hiring our deck chairs for the day um, having hot dogs and bits and pieces that you have to pay for in the water park. You don't get it free over there. Um, overall, if you haven't been to Club Mac, I think you'll really enjoy it. If you've been to Club Mac a couple of times, then I think you'll start to see things fading off slightly and not as good as it used to be. Um, but don't let it put you off because you will still have a fabulous holiday over there. Um, check your um, excursions and bits and pieces to get from the airport to the hotel. Um, I was, was through Jet 2, which we have put a complaint in um, because it was just appalling. There was no air conditioning. Uh, it took nearly two hours to get from the airport around all these other hotels to our airport, uh, to our hotel. Um, it wasn't brilliant, So, uh, but we're looking into that. That was the only thing with Jet 2 was the transfers, which I'm guessing they subletted them out. So, 
Um, if there's any questions I can answer, please just drop us a comment in the thing. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe. We do try our best to do some good videos and different reviews on places that we go. It's not always holidays and hotels. It's also festivals and camper van shows. Um, but yeah, hit the subscribe button and uh, don't miss out on other adventures that we have. Thanks for watching. Um, hope we have covered the bit stuff that you need. And if we haven't, like I said, just get in touch. Thanks a lot, guys.